Welcome to Legislative Calendars. Legislative insiders know that the word calendar has a different meaning in the legislative arena than in the private sector. Most often we think of a calendar as a chart showing days, weeks, and months of the year. In the legislature, the word calendar takes on an entirely different meaning. Legislative calendars are actually lists of legislation awaiting their next official legislative action. Anyone who cares to follow or track legislation through the legislative session needs to fully understand how the legislature uses calendars. House Rule 9 designates three calendars to be used by the House during session. And Senate Rule 9 designates five calendars to be used by the Senate during session. Pieces of legislation, bills, resolutions, memorials, and proclamations find their way to calendars by either being one, placed on a calendar, such as on general orders, filed for a calendar, such as in second reading, or by unanimous consent, used with Senate consent calendars. Once a piece of legislation is listed on a calendar, it may wait for one day or the entire session to be acted on again. The second reading calendar is an exception because all bills on this calendar are always read the next day. Let's look at the three types of calendars that are used regularly in the Idaho House and Senate. First, we have reading calendars for bills waiting to be read for the second time and bills waiting to be read for the third time. The third reading calendar is the calendar people watch most closely because it is on the third reading that bills are debated and voted. Second, bills waiting for amendment are placed on the general calendar, which is also referred to as the general orders calendar. And third, the consent calendars, only used in the Senate where bills listed on this calendar can all be passed at the same time with one unanimous consent. According to Senate Rule 9, this calendar is actually part of the third reading calendar. During legislative sessions, all of the calendars are posted daily on the legislative website. In both the House and Senate, Bills on the second reading, third reading, and general orders calendars are also listed on display boards inside the chamber. Now you are an expert on calendars. Continue to increase your legislative IQ by viewing all of the learning modules in the Legislative Learning Lab.